Matt Reeves' vision for the Batman seems to be coming together more and more every day as we have an official casting for Catwoman, and we're going to talk about that right now. Hello everybody and welcome back to another movie news video. My name is Joker and today we're going to be talking about Matt Reeves' new casting choice for Catwoman. So this makes it official that we finally have Catwoman in the new Batman film. It's pretty great knowing that we actually have an official casting since most of the stuff that we've been hearing is just rumor and speculation and people in talks of playing characters and there's no true like confirmation. But now we have an official confirmation that Zoe Kravitz is going to be playing Catwoman. And that's awesome for a number of reasons. The first one I think being is that her father, her like her birth father is Lenny Kravitz, the music artist. He was also in The Hunger Games, so that was a little bit of a different take. But I personally like his music, so hearing that I'm just like, that's just a cool little tidbit. Catwoman is more of a villain-esque type role and I think she's going to be doing a fantastic job of that because she's already kind of used to that role with her role as Lita Lestrange in the Fantastic Beast series. And I know in that case, Lita Lestrange is sort of like a villain, not really. And Catwoman is more of an anti-hero and not a villain, but she also steals stuff. So that kind of, don't steal stuff. That's what I'm trying to get my point across here. Another thing that makes it a little like just too perfect is that she already has actually played Catwoman in the Lego Batman movie. Sure, that movie is a little weird and in its own sense having a lego movie based on batman is it's an interesting choice but the movie's not bad so having her already play the role of catwoman now she just gets to embody the character itself so it's kind of just like a poetic justice type thing being able to go from one to the other and sticking with the comic book stuff she was actually the voice of mary jane watson in spider-man into the spider-verse so she's on both ends of the spectrum as far as dc and marvel goes and to top it off of that her stepdad is aquaman that's just awesome. <laughs> so yeah, her real dad is Lenny Kravitz, whereas her stepdad is Jason Momoa, aka Aquaman. So now you've got two members of the family that are in the DC universe, both of which are canon, I guess you could say. I don't know if Matt Reeves' movie is still supposed to be tied into the DCE or not, if it's supposed to be a younger version or what they're doing with it. I still don't know. But I mean, hey, now you've got two members of the family that are tied into the DC universe. That's really cool and heartwarming, and Jason Momoa had an Instagram post talking about it. He was like, I'm so proud that you, you know, you landed the role of Catwoman and you're back into the DC family and stuff like that. It was just a really, really nice thing to read. But of course, now we get more casting choices. We get more people involved in the movie, and that leads into what? That's right, speculation time. Speculations. What are we looking at? What's this movie turning into now that we've got a Batman role and a Catwoman role? It kind of seems like they're still trying to do the long Halloween movie that I mentioned a few months ago simply because now you've got because there's still all these casting choices out there's still talks of several villains coming in to be in this movie and now you've cast Catwoman so you have the anti-hero to fight alongside Batman against whoever the foes may be and it just kind of looks like they're trying to set up a long Halloween movie if we're going based off of all the rumors of the giant list of villains they're trying to cast for this movie now I'm sure there are still several casting choices that are in talks of being in the movie that still haven't been confirmed yet. I know as of right now, Jeffrey Wright was in talks for playing Commissioner Gordon, and that hasn't gone any farther since that announcement was made. There is no official thing saying, yes, he's in the movie as of yet. Same thing goes for Jonah Hill, who was also in talks for being cast as possibly the Penguin or the Riddler in this movie. Again, nothing has come out of that. The only reason they come out of that was that there were some issues about him being in the movie based on how much he was being paid. I think the articles were talking about he said he was being paid too little and he thought he was worth more to the project. But tying to all those rumors, all of those rumors are listing him saying that he's in talks of playing the Penguin. They've kind of moved away from the Riddler side and they're going more toward Penguin. So it, it just leads into more aspects of it possibly being the Long Halloween as the Penguin is a big influence in that comic book run. But it's also cool because now that we have Catwoman and the possibility of Penguin, it seems to be like a nice little homage back to the 1992 Batman Returns film where we had Michael Keaton, Michelle Pfeiffer, and Danny DeVito respectively all as Batman, Catwoman, and Penguin. So now coming back to this so many years later, but I'm wondering if they're going to take some of the ideas and the designs that were in Batman Returns and bring that over to the Batman for this, for just for like the use of it, or if it is the fact that we're having Penguin and Catwoman on screen, so we're getting somewhat more of a long Halloween film. Obviously, I don't know as of right now. I don't think anyone knows until any more villains are cast. If they're going to start casting more villains as we go along, I think it's safe to say we're possibly getting a long Halloween style movie. But also at the same time, we don't know. We could be getting a completely different cast and we could be getting just a brand new story that we haven't seen before. It's very possible. For all we know, they could be casting all these villains just to have small parts in an Arkham Asylum scene like we've talked about before, just to establish that these villains are here. They are for use in this movie if it's possible that movies are 
are going to be coming after this one. Back when Robert Pattinson was signed and cast as Batman, he was signed to a three movie deal. So it's possible that we're getting a trilogy of Robert Pattinson Batman movies. And if that's the case, you're going to need a lot of villains to set up for all of these movies. So it's possible that we could have all of these villains from the start, list them all out. So we'll get them in later movies. And Catwoman's going to be fighting alongside him, at least for this first movie and possibly throughout the other two. Maybe we'll get a true original ending with Bruce and Selina running off together, very much so like we had in The Dark Knight Rises, but you see a little bit more to it this time. But what do you guys think about this? Do you like the casting choice of Zoe Kravitz? Do you think they should have gone with someone else? Are you excited for this? Are you not? Is this changing your mind about the movie in any way, shape, or form? Let me know in the comments down below. I want to talk about it. But until we get any more casting rumors, casting announcements, anything confirmed, or rumors about this movie, which you know I will talk about here, that is going to be it for this video, guys. Remember, if you like what you saw, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more movie news videos or if you'd like to see anything else. But until then, and as always, I will see you guys guys next time.